All right, you guys, welcome back to another video, man. Today is Sunday the 28th, and tomorrow will be the 1st of March. So I wanted to go ahead and make a quick kind of like intro and kind of tell you guys what's going on prior to you guys seeing the actual footage in this video. But um, this will be the last episode of my road to 350-pound bench press because in this video, you are going to see me finally crush it. Um, I also had a spotter for this uh, lift, and you will see him touch it. I did tell him that he could touch the, uh, the bar and all that stuff because my shoulder was a little weak, but I told him he could touch the bar, but just don't, you know, help me lift it. So you guys will see all of that. Also, uh, I'm outside. It's a beautiful morning. It's about 8.30 right now, so you might hear, like, you know, the ambiance of the, you know, the, the, the birds and all that stuff, man. So it is what it is. But anyway, I wanted to make sure I came and um, gave you guys a little insight on what's going on here on the channel. So I've already hit the 350 pounds. I actually hit it, and being honest with you guys, I think I hit it, it's been about a week now. I think it's been about a week, maybe about four days, a week or maybe four days or something like that, I hit it. And uh, I've been, you know, kind of contemplating going into a, a full-on cut phase um, in my, you know, training or whatever the case. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to walk you guys, not walk you guys all the way through my whole cutting, but I'm going to start cutting as of tomorrow the 1st. Um, I jumped up to about 195 pounds, um, and some days I'm about 196. So I'm going to show you guys what my weight is and all that stuff throughout you know, this transition into me cutting because my 40th birthday is in August. And what I want to do is cut down a lot of weight now so I can see what I look like at 40, you know what I'm saying, to see if I can get as shredded as I can get at 40 years old. So you know, I think that's one of my goals right now is to just shred down. So uh, on, a, on any given day, man, I'm about 195, you know, between 193 and 196, I guess. Um, and for those that remember, I uh, was about 165 when I was in the core, 60 to 70, basically. And over the last few years, I've jumped up to about 190-something, you know, and uh, I'm ready to kind of, you know, put a little abs back in there and put some cuts back on it and just see what that looks like. But I will say this time around, my training will change a little bit so that bodybuilding style training is still going to be in there but um i'm not chasing super heavy weights and stuff like that now i'm going for you know just a decent slow steady cut my wife's going to manage my cut you guys know she's a personal trainer she do all of those things for me so i'm just gonna kind of like give her my whole you know scenario and just let her cut me up you know as, 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 as much as my body will allow me to be cut at 40 years old um so I just wanted to say that real quick, man, let you guys know that in this video, you're going to go ahead and see me hit the 350 pounds. We hit it, I want to say, about four days, maybe a week ago. Um, as of tomorrow, I'm going to be going into a cut phase. My training will change just a little bit. I don't know if I want to completely transition and just kind of still do bodybuilding workouts, or do I want to do an upper lower split or, you know, push-pull leg day, or, you know, or do I just kind of want to start leaning towards, you know, a little bit of the bodybuilding training, but doing that functional fitness training at the same time. Um, but I do know that I'm going to be up in my cardio. I'm going to be doing you know, a lot of uh, like mountain climbers and stuff like that, man. So hopefully you guys stick around for that, man. Hopefully you guys stick around and see me cut. I am going to try to, I don't know if I'm going to make it a full series or nothing like that, um, just so it can be different episodes so you guys can kind of know that's what we're kind of focused on on this channel. But I will say that I will try to label the videos in a fashion to where you guys know that we cutting. But just know that my goal is to be as cut as I can be around August. So I know that's a long time from now. We're with March, April, May, June, July, August. That's five months worth of cutting. You know, I feel like it can be done. You guys have seen me in the channel, on this channel before, you know, as shredded as I can be and things like that back in the day. So I know I can do it. It's just that, you know, at 40 years old, coming up on 40 years old this year, you know, and three kids and, and, and wanting them, and them wanting to eat the pizza and the ice cream and all that, man, it's going to be a little, it's going to be a challenge. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to preface this video with that, man. But I appreciate everybody who stuck around for the 350 pounds. We finally crushed that goal. And this video just goes to show you that you can hit your goals if you put forth the effort, you pay some attention to your goals, and everything that you do throughout the time trying to reach that goal is in preparation for that goal. You have to be, be, be mindful of the goal and the things that you have to do in order to achieve that goal, and you have to do those things at 100%. And throughout this time, I don't know if you guys really noticed, but... <clears throat> In order for me to get my bench press from where it was up to 350 pounds, um, I was bench pressing three times a week. I don't know if you guys really paid that any attention, but my bench press days were Monday, Thursday, 
and sometimes Saturday or Sunday. Um, and throughout that time, even if we, throughout those three days, there may be a day in there, so it could have been four, there may be a day in there where um, I could be done with my workout and I would just go just to get my position and down on the bench and stuff like that. I would go and just, you know, put 225 or 250 pounds on the, on the bench on my way out of the gym, just hit one full set of max reps. I was doing that all the time. So <clears throat> those were like tricks and things like that that I was doing to continue to get myself strong so that I could push that, you know, that weight or whatever the case. Um, I do know for a fact, now let me say this, I know this video is going to be hella long. Uh, I do know for a fact, though, that my goal, a small goal of mine is to, to always be able to hit three plates, though. So no matter what I'm doing, no matter what type of training style I, I revert to, no matter what's going on, I feel like I should always be able to get under 315 pounds and hit it at least one rep. So I'm going to make sure that I maintain that for the rest of my existence. I had three plates at a minimum. Um, so anyway, guys, stay tuned for the footage. I probably just throw some music over it. I done did too much talking right now. You guys probably don't want to hear me talking over the video explaining, but I just wanted to preface the video. I keep saying that that we hit 350. You will see my spotter. I put him. I asked him to to spot me on every single one of my my sets and every single one of those reps that you're gonna see. And just keep in mind, he did not help me not one time. He had his hands on the bar. I told him, you can hold and touch this bar. Just don't push it up. But you can touch it just to just to be there for safety precautions, man. Because I was nervous about that 350 because when I took the 335 off and I hit it, you'll see in this video, I hit 335. I was nervous after that. I said, oh, that 335 was heavy. I don't think I can do it. And he kind of was like, man, that was easy. And I was like, man, you know what? I'm going to try it today. And lo and behold, we got it up. And I was like, you know what? I just I just hit my goal. Like, I left the gym after that. I was like, wow, like, I left the gym. Like, I was so, like, blown away that I finally did that. I was like, oh, my God, man. But anyway, whew. I've been talking too much, but just stay tuned for the cut. The cut is happening. I'll show you guys my weight. You know, my wife's going to do some before and after pictures and all of that stuff, man. So you guys will probably end up seeing all that stuff, man. So without further ado, let's check out this video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.